So now in this video, we're going to look at the 555 timer in a stable mode right here. The capacitor is charging to two-thirds supply voltage, and so we got six volts there. It's charging to uh, four volts. That's when the output is high, and then when the output goes low, the capacitor is discharging down to one-third of the supply voltage going back and forth. So what we're going to focus on now is adjusting that with pin number five, the control pin. So a lot of times you'll see a 10 nanofarad capacitor there. Sometimes you really need that for your circuit. Most of the time I find you don't. If you remove it, then you don't really see any difference. So now what we're quickly going to do is take a one kilo ohm resistor right here and go to the positive supply or the negative supply, doesn't matter. But there you can see what we get when we have a 1000 ohm resistor. And uh, if you wanna look at the lights, there are the lights also. Now we're gonna shuffle this over. So it's adjusting the voltage divider within the integrated circuit. You got a couple, uh, three I mean, equal value resistors. You tap in between the two points where the resistors connect to get one third, two thirds supply voltage. This also connects to those points and can adjust them as you see there. So that is with a one kilo ohm resistor. So now on the board, I also have this trim pot right here set halfway. It's a 10 kilo ohm trim pot and it's going to be wired as a variable resistor. So we got the resistive element goes across there. Only one side is connected. The wiper comes to the middle right there and we'll attach it there. So that's what we can see we get with about 5,000 ohms of resistance will go up to about 10,000 ohms of resistance. You can see how the voltage shifted there. And now we'll lower it down to uh, nothing right there. And that's so low that uh, the output can't go high. It's just being held low. We have the green LED lit up. Now we will shuffle this over to the uh, red or the orange jumper up there to the red rail, the positive side of the uh, power supply, and do the same thing. And now we got a higher voltage for both the high and the low points right there. And if I go all the way up, it takes a long time for the capacitor to charge. It quickly discharges though because we're making our way all the way up to six volts and we're only dropping down to about two volts. So it drops down a lot quicker at first and then it would slow down, but uh, we have that cutoff point a little bit above two volts. So we can make our adjustment like that. And now finally we have the uh, trim pot here wired as a voltage divider. One side to the positive supply and then the other to the negative supply. When I set it right there, it looks like we got our uh, two thirds and one third voltages that it's bouncing back and forth to. But I can adjust it and it looks like to those two extremes that we saw before when we were just using resistance. We can get like anywhere in between what we had there. We go all the way to negative, we don't even get anything and we got those lower bounces. So, in any case, that's really about it. I don't have any more to uh, add to uh, this at the moment, and so I'm gonna end it there. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you watch uh, one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. I got links down in the description. That helps out the most. I will see you in the next video.